Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 47th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we are going to learn to switch the default input stream from the keyboard to a text file, right? And uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I've created a text file in the home folder and it's called text. And let me just uh, use cat to show the contents of it. So I have my terminal here and when I type in cat space text and press the enter key, I see the contents of my file and uh, there are four sentences in the file at the moment and uh, the four sentences are I'm feeling dizzy tonight, I didn't get proper sleep during the day, the dog in my street seems to be at rest tonight, he isn't barking and I think I'll have some Italian food for lunch tomorrow, that's the fourth statement. So one thing that I want you guys to observe here is that when you use cat to see the output from a text file on the terminal, cat doesn't display line numbers, right? And there is no option that you can use with the cat command that uh, shows line numbers along with the text from a text file, right? So if you want to see line numbers uh, in your text file while you're using cat uh, in the terminal, then you'll have to do something else. And uh, we're going to build a shell script that's going to do the job for us. So I have my text editor here. Now I've saved this file in the home folder. It's called read and has the extension sh. Now, when you change the default input stream from the keyboard to a text file, you, you do that using the command exec, and that's E-X-E-C, right? And um, every time you do that, you have to type in exec, and then the lesson symbol, that is the inward redirection operator, and then you have to type in the name of the file from which you wish to uh, receive input, right? So what I'm going to do first in the script is I'm going to use echo to ask the user to input a file name to me enter a file name right and uh, I'm gonna store the input in a variable called fname and uh, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna validate the input and by that I mean I'm gonna check if the input that has been provided consists of more than zero characters or not right so it has to have more than zero characters if it is valid input and uh, my test condition for that is going to be hyphen z space dollar f name and since f name is most likely to have a string i'm gonna put the value dollar f name within double quotation marks and uh, let me make this an if statement and on line four i'll have to type in the keyword then to get inside the if block and if the number of characters in the input that has been provided uh, is zero, then we won't do anything. We'll just type in exit on line five, and what that would do is it would uh, it would just terminate the script's execution, right? On line six, we'll get out of the if block by typing in the keywords fi, and uh, well, if this if block doesn't execute, then uh, we're good to go. And uh, that's why on line six, what I'm going to do first is I am going to save the current terminal settings in a variable called terminal and uh, maybe I've discussed this in this course and I, I don't really remember but tty is the command that uh, contains information about the current terminal settings right so I'll have to type in tty and uh, I'll have to assign the settings to a variable terminal and I do that by typing in terminal is equal to tty but since tty is a command and since terminal is a variable you can't simply you know have this you have to put tty within reverse quotes and what this would do is it would uh, fetch the output of the command tty and it will assign the output to the variable terminal right so now we can uh, change our input stream and uh, I told you guys that we do that using exec so I'll type in exec here and then the inward redirection operator and you just have to type that once and then the name of the file which in this case is stored in the variable fname so I'll type in dollar fname here right on line 12 I'm going to create a variable called count and I'll give it the value 1 since we want to start displaying our line numbers one onwards but this variable is not going to be my control variable for the loop and since we are not uh, listening from the keyboard we're gonna have the while statement in a slightly different format this time so I'll type in the keyword while on line 14 and then I'll type in the keyword read and uh, we're doing this because we want to read the contents from the text file right so read goes there and uh, then I'll type in my control variable which uh, can be anything but I'm gonna call it line 
so while read line that's going to be the syntax for the uh, while statement on the next line i'll type in the keyword do which is a part of the while syntax and uh, on line 16 i'm just going to echo out the variable uh, the control variable for the loop which is a uh, line so echo dollar line and on line 17 i'll type in the keyword done now how do we display the the line numbers here we do that by typing in uh, dollar count immediately before uh, the control variable which is line and i'll separate the two by putting a full stop uh, in between and uh, since we don't want to display one for all the lines we want to increment our um, line numbers i'll have to use expr to increment the value of uh, the variable count and i do that by typing in expr space dollar count plus one and uh, remember to put a space immediately before and after the addition symbol there and uh, i'll assign this value this new value for each iteration to the variable count again and uh, since expr dollar count plus one is uh, is a mathematical expression i'll have to put the entire thing within reverse quotes right and after we are finished displaying the contents of the text file and along with the line numbers what we would have to do is we would have to restore the original settings back again and you do that by typing in exec again and then you'll have to type in the name of your variable in which you stored the settings before changing your input stream and uh, remember in this script i stored the settings in the variable terminal and uh, i did that by um, typing in this code at line 8 so exec space dollar terminal would do the job for me and i'll save this file now i'll bring up my terminal here and uh, let me first clear the screen and the name of the script file is read so in order to execute it i'll have to type in sh space read with the extension sh and um, when i press the enter key the shell asks me to provide a file name and um, text is a file that i created in the home folder so i'm just going to provide that as the input but before I do that, let me just show you guys what happens when I don't type in any character and I just press the enter key. Nothing happens. My dollar prompt is returned back to me and that means that the exit statement in the if block got executed, right? Because the length of the character input that I provided was zero. Uh, but if I provide valid input such as uh, text, which is the name of uh, a file in my home folder and press the enter key, then you see that this time I see line numbers and I also see the content. So line one has I'm feeling dizzy tonight. Line three has the dog in my street seems to be at rest tonight. And line four has the final sentence. So this is uh, one method of uh, displaying line numbers on screen. But this script or this tutorial wasn't to discuss how to display line numbers for text files on screen. But it was to uh, discuss the significance of the exec command and uh, how you can switch the default input stream from the keyboard to a text file and how you can restore the settings back by the command that you see on line 20 in the shell script so i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to discuss something interesting and important again thank you so much for watching this one i'll see you in the next tutorial please subscribe to my channel